The next question from Alexander is what the company plans to do about the hub motor, those models that have already been developed. Now you can see the vehicles powered by the DA motors only, other than plans to launch mass production of hub motors in due time. You see, the fact that we made a model, showed it and then ran it, we had a mobile laboratory, we had it all, tested it then, but in order to produce, we need not a prototype model, but an industrial one. But there is an issue with an industrial motor model. Let's assume such a small point. The encoder inside the hub motor that fixes the rotation can be either optical or electromagnetic based on the Hall effect. The optical encoder gets clogged. The Hall effect encoder also has a problem inside. The standard one is hard to embed there and so on. Quite a problem. Well, yes, we did everything needed for the prototypes. Everything was normal, everything worked well. But there is one problem. The hub motor must be disassembled and assembled, because the tires need to get changed. With a standard suspension, yes. And will every consumer, every user, be able to work correctly with a whole effect motor? Well, with an incremental encoder. The answer is no, 100%. There will be a problem. Therefore, it was necessary to develop a new design encoder, and this design should be suitable for mass production. Yes, the technology is clear, but in order to implement this technology, it was necessary to develop and make special equipment. But these special equipment requires special operating conditions and people with special skills. A random person can't operate it, you've seen it yourself. Sure. And there is a whole chain and this is only one encoder. Well, now again, you take the hub motor, put it on a bicycle, everything is fine, great. Well, if you puncture the inner tube while riding, how do you change it? Or a damaged tire, how do you deal with that? Given that design, how do you do that? Unscrew the wires, disconnect the sensors, connectors. Well, it's not even for fans, it's almost suicidal. Or, I don't know, you need to be a geeky fanatic, most likely. There are such fanatics, and they believe that electric bicycles are inferior to bicycles, cars and motorcycles, something like that. Yes, there are some people who are ready to exercise such masochism, but the main consumer is not. Therefore, the hub motor must be designed in a way that enables removing the tire, changing the inner tube without disassembling it, without dismantling it. Simplifying is again a crucial question. And another question is that I have not yet seen such mass production equipment that enables winding this diameter of the stator with this pitch and this number of sections, 96 sections namely. So there must be another technology. Yes, the technology is known, we have invented it, implemented it, but now we need to make the equipment. And this will not appear in the blink of an eye, and again, how can you do it on these premises? Everything is not as simple as it might seem at first glance. And that's it, we can't meet the requirements here, there are no more premises available here. What should we do? I don't have an office. I sit on a side chair in the design department. And we need to locate more people. What should we do? After all, you need to take into account that employees need to be provided with comfortable working conditions to make sure they work well because they need to put the paper somewhere, not on their lap. This is why there are a lot of such tasks. So it is the same with the hub motor. And if it could be made without creating this sander, who would care to build it? <laughs>